This video is brought to you in part by SecondChanceGaming.com. They are a direct sponsor of me and this channel, and so if you want to indirectly support the channel while also buying or selling cards for your own matches, your own tournaments, your own duels, your own purposes, your own needs, then definitely check out their site and see what they have to offer you. I'm a big fan of how they do business, and their pricing and shipping from what I've seen and experienced thus far are both top notch. So definitely check out their site, which is linked in the description, and let them know that Phoenix sent you. But with that out of the way, let's get straight into the video. Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here, and this video is going to be another Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Duel video, and this time I'm going to be playing with the Shadal deck again, doing another single with that on the Checkmate server in the ranked portion. Uh, I've lost Rock, Paper, Scissors, which means I'm very likely going second, and I've opened with Shadal Fusion, so hell yeah. Alright, he's playing something with Yang Zings in it. Uh, ooh! A Dragonic Diagram to try and pop the Yang Zinger. Uh, we're going to Ghost Ogre the Dragonic Diagram, uh, and hope that you don't have another way to trigger your Yang Zing monster. Because if you do, oh, there it is. There's another drawing diagram. <laughs> if it's not one, it's another. Um, every single time that I've ghost ogred a, a diagram, my opponent just puts the second one down. It's like, all right, well, got gotcha. you. Um, but that's fine, because this actually, my opponent is going to be incentivized to commit into extra deck things. He's searched uh, Bastros, which is good, which means that he's probably going to be doing something along the lines of committing into an extra deck play, which means I'm going to be able to go shit all fusion. He had all three Dragonic Diagrams? <laughs> oh, shit. Well, well then. Uh, okay, so he's dis he's uh, destroying this, the Bastros, uh, to add the um, the Barastos, excuse me, um, to add the Lithosagum, and that summons Swanee. So he's going to be going for Denglong, which means he's probably going to be going for nine Pillars of the Yang Zing, which means I have to bait that first, but then once I do... Then I have access into uh, Shadal Fusion from deck. Uh, this is a bit irritating um, in the essence of, yeah, he's got this card that I now know about, which I need to use in some way. Um, I need to play around it in some way. Uh, I can only use, oh, I can only activate one Shadal Fusion per turn, so if I draw a second one, um, that'd be doable. But he's sending a card to Grave here, so he's playing True King Yang Zing, which is a deck that I used to think was really cool, but now it's just like, eh. Um... So we'll activate the upstart, get some more resource knowledge in hand. That's an Ash Blossom. That's actually pretty good. Um, I can activate a Lure here uh, and get rid of this. Uh, the Chlamydia Sundew. The Chlamydia Dew. Uh, I've got the Foolish, which I can use to make Dragon pop a card. Yes! Oh my god! That's actually so good. Um, I want to keep this. I'll get rid of the Hedgehog. I want, 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 I want. This is going to be so good! If I hit the nine pillars, then this is amazing. Um, like, this is going to be great if this is what happens. Now, let's see. I don't think he's that smart of a person to set it last. So we're going to do this. And I don't think he's all... If I hit the nine pillars, then I don't think he's also smart enough to shotgun. Yes! All right. Let's see if it sticks. Come on, baby. Stick. Yes! <laughs> it's sticking! Fucking hell. All right. So what this means now is that I can make Shek... Uh, I've got multiple things that I can do here for discard fodder. Um, I could make Grista, I can make Shek. Shek seems like the better option here, because so I can send another Whiptail to Grave, I can summon this, I can make a whip, uh, Dryant with three Whiptails on it. Yes, we'll do that. Um, so what I'll do is I'll send uh, I'll send Squamata from deck, and I'll send a Whiptail from deck, uh, for a very specific reason. And then the Squamata's effect will activate. I'm going to send Beast and draw a card. And, or do I want to send Falco? I think I want to send Falco, honestly. Um, no, I, I just want to draw cards. I need to I need to get something that helps me better in this game state. Especially since I've got Ash to answer his third, his literally just straight open three gigantic diagrams. <laughs> what are you? Uh, strike, that is so powerful. All right. So I can summon this and banish this, or I can summon Whiptail and put a Dryant with three Whiptails under it and then still attack over it and banish it. Um... There's a few different things that I can do here. Uh, the Shekinaga isn't going to be live for effect negation. It's just being a large body. So we'll go with this. Um, we'll do this. We'll do it this way. And so we'll put the Wild Bow on top. And then put Broad Bull. And then Broad Bull from here. Activate. Detaching to search Whiptail. I don't have Tiger Mortar in this extra deck. Uh, which means that I'm not going to be able to put the Whiptail straight underneath it from my graveyard, but I'm going to be able to make Shock and Nine, 
uh, and bring that Whiptail back, and its effect is only going to be negated until my opponent's turn. So it's just more damage here uh, to be able to do it this way. So we'll just do this. That'll bring back the Whiptail, and I'll be able to suicide the Dryden't into this. And, uh, and uh, well, not suicide, per se. Uh, definitely not suicide, uh, but we'll be able to attack with it into this. And, uh, and that will allow me to banish his, uh, his, um, thing out. So I'm gonna activate this here, um, and then that means that I'll take some damage, this will get banished, and then, uh, I'll be able to attack with these, and then this effect will come back on his turn, which means I can put it underneath, and then we'll all be good there. Uh, but it left the field, so it's gonna be, oh, this card gets its effect if it leaves the field. Oh, interesting. Did not realize that one. Uh, but so what I get to do here is I get to attack with this and he's gonna summon a card out of his deck more than likely and then from there I've, I completely didn't realize that this is when it left the field I haven't read this card in so actually long I just know that it searches cards um, so he's summoning the Chi win and will attack this uh, did he summon that from grave that seems like a that seems like a bad move Wow oh he just burned it all right then, uh, that one's on you, mate. But okay, I've got multiple lines of defense now that I can use to work with. Uh, that was a very, very good shit all dragon. I still have no idea what this card is, um, but I've got materials under the Dryden. Uh, this can go under the Dryden during uh, during his turn now. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just Ash Blossom this, the Dragonic Diagram. He's played all three, so there's there's no chance of him having another one, right? Um, and now the Sheck is definitely not live, it's just a huge body, which is fine, that's what I wanted it to be. Uh, I could have been Grista, could have been anything, so he's just surrendering here. Okay, I want to know what the rest of his cards were, so we're going to make this a theme. We're just going to make this checking replay thing a thing when my opponent has multiple resources that I don't know about. So, be right back, literally in like one second. Alright, so my opponent had a Twin Twister turn one, so like he had an amazing opening. He had all three Dragonic Diagrams, the Swanee and the Twin Twister. Um, and he drew a terraforming for turn, so <laughs> he doesn't have shit. Uh, but the thing is, he could you, he could twin twister the solemn strike very easily and very handily. But like, there's there's no place for him to make after I ash blossomed his dragon diagram because he was gonna pop this out of his hand, and that was gonna give him a search for something, which is gonna bring back one of his yang zingers, um, and then like things like that could happen. But I have so many defensive lines that I have access to in forms of the Dryden that's still loaded on his turn. I've got the solemn strike. He has no knowledge of the last card in my hand, which could very well be a Shadal card. So, like, I think it's funny, too. It's ironic that, like, I misplayed there. I could have, instead of sending Beast off of the uh, Squamata, I could have sent Hedgehog, searched a card to use with Shekinaga to be a negation card. But instead, I sent Beast instead and drew a card, and I drew an effect negator. Like, the, the, it was either I search a card that makes my effect negator live, or I draw a random card to get another defensive line card, and I got an effect negator card. Um, like, I think that's silly. But anyway, so this was, uh, this was an interesting one. I don't know what his deck looks like in terms of... Oh, he's got the dinos in here, too. Oh, okay. I'm glad I looked at this. This changes everything in terms of what I thought about his deck. He's not playing True King. Di he's not playing True King Yang Zing. He's playing True King Yang Sing Dino. He's playing Ding Long Turbo for, to the to the T. Okay, True King Dino Yang Zing is uh, is the name of this game. Okay, well that just took that just took what he was playing like up a little bit on the chart of what he could have been playing. But that now explains why the Chi Win play happened as well, um, because like. There was only like a BN left in his deck for a target, and you can't summon BN with BN. So, yeah, that makes perfect sense now. So, okay. Well, anyway, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. As always, links are in the description of my Facebook and Patreon pages. If you want to support the channel directly, then Patreon is the best way to do so, as well as you can get some access into some of the reward tiers, like getting access into my private Discord server if you want to chat with me and quite a few other people. Uh, on a daily, day, like daily, daily, day basis, basically, <laughs> I'm trying. I'm starting to tongue twister myself on the simplest speech patterns. But anyway, uh, if you want to do that, then you can definitely check that out. But even if that's not what you're interested in, even something as little as a dollar a day is a fantastic way to show your support for the content that I'm making and help support me making content well into the future. If you want to keep seeing stuff that I make, if you like the content that I produce, it's just a great way to say that you're liking what I'm doing. But other than that, as always, guys, like the video if you like the content that I'm doing recently. Smash that like button. Give it a thumb 
thumbs up, all that sort of nonsense. If you're new here, consider subscribing if you want to see more awesome Yu-Gi-Oh content that I have made. If you're if you're someone that is new and is not already subscribed, I would definitely definitely urge you to subscribe if you want to see more and I'd love to welcome you into this little dysfunctional family that we've got based around me at the helm making these stupid videos doing these stupid plays and all these sort of nonsense. It's, it's something that I didn't think was possible years ago when I started actually taking this channel seriously but now it actually just really is and it boggles my mind every time but anyway if you're new here like I've already said consider subscribing if you want to see more and if you already subscribed then definitely click that little bell to get notifications whenever I put a video up if you do not want to miss a thing joining the notification squad would be a great thing to do there but other than that as I've already said thanks for watching as always thanks for your time as usual guys and take care I will see you in the next video